I think too often filmmakers come in and create these kind of pity stories where they show like everything that's wrong. Mm -hmm. And I think it's important to show what's beautiful. LIBEentertainment.com is the station that gives you the very best of entertainment, albeit on the television or on the radio. Well, um, today we're going to be going back uh, a little bit to the origin of hip-hop with this uh, personality. Uh, he's from the hip-hop Save Lives. His name is Chad, Chad Harper. Chad, what's up? What's yeah, up? Yeah, man. How you doing, brother? I'm fine, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I like yeah, your man. style. I like your swag. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Uh, okay. Thank you. Okay, uh, let me get question to Chad, you know, and then start the ball rolling. Chad, um, uh, I understand that you are from the United States. Yes, sir. And um, um, you... You specialize in hip hop. Yes, the the, the true culture of hip hop. Okay, now on uh, you mean Liberia? Are you on a tour, or you can assess, uh, assess or, or to know something about our entertainment that we have in Liberia? Well, um, first I want to shout out um, Imani House. Um, they're the ones that brought me here. They they are a clinic that is just a little bit outside of of, of the city here. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm coming um, actually to work with kids at different schools. Um, and explaining the true purpose of hip hop and how hip hop was was founded. Mm -hmm. um, so right now we're working at Hope Deaf School, mm -hmm. which is just around the corner. Um, and Ellie is, is shooting a documentary, and um, I am producing the soundtrack for the do um, documentary. Mm -hmm. And we're doing a song with uh, Takun J. Okay. And we're bringing attention, national attention, to uh, the issues that deaf people and children have in this country. You know, there's five elements of hip hop. Yeah, because I was going through it, I saw four. Mm -hmm. Four are talking about break dancing, Weiji, Sanji, something like that. Yeah, uh, the, the first element is, is DJing. DJing, and then, good. Yeah, and then break dancing. Break dancing. And then MCing. MCing. And then graffiti. Graffiti, that's the word. That's yes. the word. And right. then the last is knowledge of self. So you have to understand where your ancestors came from. So that's why, like, we really support hip hop. Because they're rhyming more in their natural dialect. They're not. They're not trying to emulate what what goes on in America. So if you're just emulating what's in America, that's not hip hop. Because you have to be true to who you are. Okay. Be true to where you're from. Okay. <laughs> to me, hip co is is just true hip hop. You know, hip co talks about issues in the community. Hip co definitely has knowledge itself because you guys rhyme in your in your natural Liberian uh, uh, dialect. Mm -hmm. You know, so. When you're talking about issues in the community and you're using your natural dialect, you know, that, that's, that's the true essence of hip hop. Our Liberian artists, you know, they do this um, colloquia, you know, this colloquia rap, you know, that this is our pigeon way of, of talking. This is our country and people really get, uh, they have a big serious problem with our style of singing, mm. especially hip hop. Really? And, uh, yeah. Now, I want to know. Mm. When listening to Taco J's songs, mm -hmm. were you able to follow the storylines or get his lyrics or the content of the song? I could understand a lot of, okay. of what he was saying. I mean, I'm sure, I mean, there was definitely um, a lot of slang in there that mm -hmm. I couldn't pick up on. Yeah. Um, I mean, luckily, when we were listening to his album, he was rhyming right in front of us okay. um, all the lyrics. So we got to catch probably more than I would have naturally caught without listening, mm -hmm. um, without him standing there. Mm -hmm. But that that's the beauty of hip-hop. You're not supposed to catch everything the first time. Okay. You know, like, um, I'm, I'm from up, up north in, in the U.S. Okay. So when Outkast, which is from, like, the Dirty South, down south, you okay. know, when they first came out, I loved their beats and I loved the flow and I loved the subject matter that they were talking about. Okay. But because... There's a different dialect down south than up north. Mm -hmm. I had to listen to the album 20, 30 times to really kind of catch everything they're saying. Okay. And that's that's the beauty of hip hop. Okay. You're supposed to study it. Okay. You know what I mean? Because it's supposed to be unique and different. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what it is man yeah you, we, we actually want our people to love our own things you know? yeah, yeah and let them be able to understand no matter what even if you that's why someone said music is a universal language yeah man. anybody can understand music at any time right as long as you want to pay attention to it and you want to love it you can go in for it absolutely so that's the reason why I asked you that question yeah man yeah I appreciate you for that yes sir Eddie what's up let's have any there man and uh, we also have a friend too, oh my god, she's a photographer, a professional photographer.
They play and learn and sing and fall in love, just like every other young person mm -hmm. in this country. And so she approached me because I create documentary films, okay. um, conscious documentary films, okay. um, about people who aren't always given given a microphone, who aren't always like don't always have the limelight on them. And um, so I immediately kind of jumped on it because I. I heard about about the school and these kids, and I felt like you know it's just a part of part of my own mission to support getting their voices heard. Mm -hmm. And the kind of films I like to make are really personal portraits where you go deep into their lives and you see just like how beautiful they are. But mm -hmm. you could only do that if you spend time with them and hang out with them and follow them around. And so you have to make hard choices and choose people to then become the ambassador for other people who are going through similar things. So, so there's people on the street who also are deaf. So this is a film for them too. Okay. And even though their faces and their voices may not like actually be in the film, yeah. mm -hmm. like I think they will be in the film because like the, the voices and the stories that we are focusing on yeah. um, will represent as best as they can, you know, the voices and faces of, of, of other people who are going through similar things. And not just deaf people, anyone who feels like they aren't being heard or their, their rights aren't being recognized. Um, it's for everybody. I mean, again, that's what music does. That's what like real good hip hop does. That's what good film does. It like connects to a certain universal part of everybody, um, and just shows how we're all connected, right? So it's not just for deaf people. It's not just for the deaf people in the school. It's for everybody in Liberia. Okay, that's not okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks, thanks, thanks. I pray to come over with album in 2014. An album? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk a little bit about yourself, your, your genre of music, your style of music, and what you think. Uh, being an Arabian artist, a hip hop artist. He, he mentioned concerning about hip hop. Hip hop is all about love. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's a message that should go up there, that should save someone. You gotta be, you know, sing songs that 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 will help there. We're trying to help the community. Community, yeah. yeah. We gotta sing songs that will help the Things of reality, yeah. Uh, yeah. Things of reality. We had a team. Not just going and just saying, you know, smoke weed. My man, you diss me. I would diss you. I would diss you. Only LIBT system, a big Wesley boy. Yeah, man. Yeah, shout out to my boy Pony. You know. There's a little hip cool song media. Do you attend your media give real quick vocal? Yeah, get you get grace more, grace more, grace more. See me, see Wesley. Oh. You see me, see Wesley. Oh. You see me, see, see Pony. Oh. Yeah, I'm yeah. yeah. pulling you up on video. No, I'm pulling you up on video. No, I'm pulling you up on video. I pray that DJs in Liberia should keep playing it. Because anything for that matter. That it keep breaking in your ear. Mm -hmm. There must be a world that you will be able to listen to. Yeah, that you see, you say yes. The particular song. Let me hold on. Yeah, let me hold on to the song. So hip hop is all about loving each other. And this go to all our librarian artists again. We gotta unite. If even you hate that person, mm -hmm. you tell that person to be your love artist. All right, that's what it is, man. That's what it is. We want to appreciate all our wonderful callers out there, our listening audience. And uh, thanks ever so much. Remember this, the show. Let me say a big one out to Erica Davis, who is also listening. And a big one out to Aisha Bagra and your entire friends, your friends and your families around you. I know you're having a wonderful time listening to the show on LIVEentertainment.com. Remember this, the show. Next week, same time, Tuesday, we're going to be right here. Me, Eddie Pune, and maybe your guest could just be mine. The name is Wesley.